The Vilnius International Airport is made up of two main structures, the Arrivals Building and the Departures Hall. Built in the early 1990s, the Departures Building consists of high ceilings and a lot of glass to let in more natural light and allow passengers to look out at airplanes. While the older Arrivals Hall has a big open space in one area, there's a lot less glass and a lot more columns and decorative detailing. This is the building that Lithuania's transportation minister, as well as the airport's management, wants to tear down and replace. Let's look at the reasons and discuss whether this is a good idea or not. With construction completed in 1954, the Arrivals Building came into existence while Lithuania was under Soviet occupation. And in just a few years, the building will be 70 years old. The style of this building is defined as Soviet classicism, and includes statues of workers out in front, and is adorned with classical columns all throughout. I'll reserve my own personal opinion of this building and its design for later in the video, but there are some key people in Lithuania who would prefer to have this arrivals terminal replaced. In fact, in September 2021, Transportation Minister Marius Skouris told reporters that he wanted this old Soviet-era structure torn down completely and replaced. According to LRT, Skouris says that upgrading the current building would cost twice as much as building a new one from scratch. There are several options and the optimal one is to demolish this building. Another one would be to look for ways to preserve some parts of it, but that would cost twice as much, he was quoted as saying. This topic was revived once again recently, particularly in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The operator of Vilnius Airport, a firm known as Lithuanian Airports, wants the building demolished. The main reason this time around, according to LRT, is that it's a symbol of Russia's soft power and a Soviet symbol that divides society. Marius Zelenius, head of communications at Lithuanian airports, was quoted as saying, We are questioning whether this protected object deserves to be there, and whether we want it to continue to be a divisive element in our society. Zelenius also calls the building insanely expensive, reporting that more than a million euros has already been spent on the roof alone. On top of this, the old building uses inefficient heating and ventilation systems and other infrastructure. While two big decision makers want the building gone, not everyone is on their side. Vidmantas Bizarras, director of the Department of Cultural Heritage, says that he wants to see the building preserved and adapted, even if that's just part of it, and not necessarily for a function related to airport operations. It probably wouldn't be fair to tear everything down, especially since it is an architectural heritage, whatever the period in which it was built, the chairman of the Seimas Committee on Culture. As it stands, this Vilnius Airport building is on Lithuania's Register of Cultural Heritage and cannot be torn down. So, in order to have it replaced, this old building will need to first be removed from the Register of Cultural Heritage, and it's hard to say what the chances of this happening are. So my own personal opinion, as a foreigner, is that the building looks nice. I've traveled through many airports over my lifetime, and Vilnius's arrivals building is different from all of them. Most airports are more similar to the departures hall, big open spaces with a lot of glass. This is nice in many ways, but it looks like every other airport around the world, and I really like the detail built into the current arrivals building. After all, it's hard to think of any other international airports out there that have a big chandelier hanging above the area where families wait to pick up their loved ones returning from a trip. The crown molding, columns, and arches all come together to make it feel like you're in an old European train station, except it's an airport. But with all of that said, I'm a foreigner who hasn't lived the history of older Lithuanians. Because of this, I can't really comment intimately on how this old structure might divide Lithuanian society. I do, however, get the sense that most people, Lithuanian or not, don't care or don't think about the fact that this building was created under Soviet occupation. The equally important topic is the matter of maintenance costs and passenger capacity, something that I would imagine the transport minister and airport operator are much more worried about. If Vilnius hopes to grow, it will need to make sure its airport can handle more flights and more passengers. Its current size may be suitable for now, but it might not be fit for the future. Taking this into consideration, and also considering maintenance costs and inefficiencies of the existing structure, I understand why this building should be replaced. But I also think it just really looks nice, regardless of who built it. But I want to pass the question off to you. Do you think this airport should be torn down and replaced with something else? Do you agree with people who say that it's a Soviet symbol that divides society? Let me know by leaving a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.